It has been my good fortune to be part of this news team and this TV station for a very long time. Since the day WCSH went on the air almost 70 years ago, there has been a powerful commitment to public service. That includes supporting the community through fundraisers and charitable projects, what we call doing good together. But Job One is our newscast, which we view as a quest for truth, fairness, and a better understanding of our world. This week, I've been reminded of some of the most memorable stories I've covered, including a lot of well-known people. But it is the stories of average Mainers doing extraordinary things that build a bond between us and the viewers, day after day, year after year, and for me, countless thousands of newscasts. And there is joy for us in the bond that we share with one another in the newsroom, the camaraderie, the friendships, the way we support one another in our work, and the sometimes dark humor that can relieve the stress. I'm telling you, there is nothing quite like the buzz of a room full of people hustling to make deadline, eager to share great stories. That daily experience of working alongside so many talented and smart people is what I'll miss the most. You'll probably find me in the parking lot many mornings as muscle memory automatically brings me here. I once asked Ed Muskie, who had served as governor of Maine, U.S. Senator, and U.S. Secretary of State, how he would like to be remembered. He answered that beyond any of his accomplishments, he wanted people to be able to say, there's a man I can trust. I can't put it any better than that, and I hope I have met that standard. In life, we meet, we part, and we remember. But as Charles Dickens wrote, the pain of parting is nothing to the joy of meeting again. So until we do, good night and good luck.